Well, I'm not sure uh, what I'm gonna start with. I think uh, I gotta do the trunk. We gotta figure out those trunk hinges. Seeing how we got the front end done right now, the uh, only obvious thing to do is to get the rear trunk working. I think I'm gonna change some glass. And then uh, I'm not sure where I go from there. Maybe do uh, get the dash in for the gauges. That'd be kind of cool. Anyways, I guess I'll stop yabbing and we'll get going here. Well, in theory, these are going to need a lot of work yet. Or I should say, in theory, it looks like these will work. I got to spray that one, but this one here. Uh, technically, if that was my trunk edge, I think I'd be okay. It just seems like it'd be a little high. It wants to be even with this thing here, so. Uh, not sure yet. We're going to experiment. And I'm gonna lube that one first. And then I don't know if I gotta sit in the trunk or what I gotta do. I did get my lights all in. This one I have no felt, so I just use some uh, foam just to make a seal around it. This one still sort of has the rubber in it. Unfortunately, I don't have this bottom piece here. Neither car has that, so I'll have to, I guess at some point, look for one. I'll just tape them up for now so no junk can get into the trunk there. <laughs> junk in the trunk. Anyways, um, I'm going to fandangle this thing and see man, what happens really. All we can do is try. progress it needs to get shimmed up but technically it works um, 
these have to get extended, but I think it needs to be shimmed like it's too, it's too low and pulled back. I can bring it in, I think a little bit, but then the, the lid binds on top here. But I think again, that's because it sits too low. Like I can live with the way it is right now. It's pretty good. Pretty good. It might closing this one up a bit there, but. I don't know. I think we're good. I just gotta find a way to fasten everything together. And uh, <coughs> I think we got the trunk figured out. Not terrible it's actually touching in places here so we'll just have to modify the upper part of the hinges I like it this is gonna work out okay so as you can see it's actually touching it's pinching on top like it's supposed to we just have to modify this because I only got one hole I got to do two and then we can shim it and push the trunk lid up but I don't know that worked out pretty good. I have zero latching system, so I'll have to figure that out. But uh, when she's closed, she's all good. The gap is a, a little big, but you can see it's kind of, I don't know if you can or not. It's a little bit low, but if we shim the hinges, it's probably going to be fine. Uh, we don't have any spring or strut system, but I can easily just do like the front hood and just have a prop rod in the car in the trunk there because it's not very heavy and once it's up you kind of just throw a rod down hold her up I mean I don't know how often I'm in there but cool well I'm gonna figure a way to mount that stuff up and then uh, I don't know keep going I guess <laughs> Got to doll this up a little more better yet, but we'll, uh, at least for now, uh, I sort of have a trunk on her. Getting closer. All right, well, we buzzed them up. They got some gussets on them. They are not pretty, but I did add a plate in behind. I added a gusset to the front and, uh, well, now they're strong. And the, uh, Trunk works well. Works good enough for what I need. So, that works okay. I'll have to dig around, see if I have a latch or there's something. I don't think I have anything. I probably have to come up with something. I'm hoping I at least have the trim for the back. Like this piece, I hope. If not, I'll scavenge something on it, I guess. We just keep chalking it up the bits that I'm missing. I might just set this one up with like, uh, a cable pop in the car. That should work out okay. Uh, eh, just after 11. I'm not too tired yet. I think... Will I? Yeah. Nah. I think I'll call her a night. I think the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get the tinted glass in on this side. And... Uh, at least... Yeah, because it's got the clear and that has like some weird factory tint on the other side. I don't know if you can actually see it on uh, film, but it's pretty cool. I'll actually open up my package, make sure I got it all. Yeah, this car definitely needs a visor. That is just, they are not very flattering without something there, I'll tell you that. I'll see what I have for visors yet, if I have one that'll fit on here. Anywho, well, I did do this vent window and it worked out pretty pretty easy so <clears throat> it didn't come without its casualties but that's okay the glass is pretty broken this one too it's pretty separating so I'm just gonna do the same process um, essentially all I do is I heat the outside with a torch and then I just violently pry on it <laughs> and hope I don't break it too much so anyway I am gonna get this sucker going heat her up and uh, Hopefully we can pop that out and then I'll, I'll save the other side glass for uh, tomorrow. This went pretty quick, so 
I'll just do them both. Well, that one worked out not too bad. <clears throat> not as good as I wanted, but not that I could really reuse this for anything that's kind of small. The side gloss I can use for making vent windows or stuff like that. But anyways, this went in good. When the other piece came out, it took this rubber doodad with it there. So uh, all I do is I usually just wrap the window in electrical tape a whole bunch of turns. So it's got a tight press fit in there. I don't know what it is. It's like some rubber wrap that's usually around them. Uh, like it's fairly thick. It's just rubber based. So anyways, I just, whatever. Some electrical tape around it. That way the glass doesn't rattle or chance for it to break. All right. Well, and that didn't take very long. I don't know what that took. 10 minutes. I don't know what it looked like on film, but it wasn't that bad. I'm going to try to make an effort of giving you folks an idea how much time it takes to do some of this stuff. So, like say, I have probably 15 to 20 minutes just doing the two wings. This one actually came out a lot easier than that one. Uh, the doors will be, actually this will be pretty easy because you know, it's already apart. And then this one, I'll take the door apart, but that's okay. I'll have to redo the door panels anyways, so. Anywho, that's where I'm at tonight. And uh, I guess tomorrow we'll tackle the windows and have a look-see at the dash, what we can do with that. We got some paint on our garnish moldings, <clears throat> but first things first, I want to get the uh, door glass swapped out. So we'll get the front and the back one out. I'll have to take everything off this door. And uh, I guess we're going to make new door cards for at some point. Not right now though. First we'll just get the doors, the tops off. And uh, I guess we'll repaint all of them because I think I'm missing one and I'll have to steal that from the other car. So we may as well repaint them all. You can't get that paint nobody has anymore. So we're going up into the glossy version of that. So we'll see how that fits. Well, isn't that a zany setup? I knew these were kind of miserable. These aren't like your traditional door handle doodad. You remember you can get this tool to go in and it would pop. Like normally you'd slide this in behind your panel and it would go into a slot and pop this pin off. But on this one, the pin's hidden behind something. So I don't know. I guess uh, in the day they must have had their own special tool to get this thing off. A little miserable, but eh, we got her. Didn't wreck anything. Although, like I say, I don't think I'll be using these door panels anyways. So I'm going to continue getting this all stripped out so I can get this glass pulled out and I can get the other one put in. 
This one went in all right. I uh, couldn't get it back in the seal, so I just grabbed some urethane and glued it in. But it's all in, good. The glass is a wee bit high, unfortunately. Don't like that, but what can you do? You stick in your arm out the window, you'd be resting it on the glass. But it's not like there's a bump stop stopping it. So I think it's in the actual crank mech that it can't go down anymore. So how's that for like an over-engineered setup, eh? You got here with some idlers. There's like lots of junk happening in there. All right. Continue tearing this door down. So glass is all in, uh, front back. I just have this one up till the glue dries. This one's in. I did find my other garnish molding, so I got all of them other than the front one. So those I have painted, I'll have to mess around with that, try to figure that out. And uh, I might still try to tackle this steering wheel to take it off maybe, so I can get that horn ring on. It'd be super cool, but we'll see. I'm not too fussed about it. I'll just use the horn button and it is what it is. I had a visor upstairs, but it is not big enough for this car. It is just such a big car. Well, it's a big car and it's not, but at least that's just a, it doesn't open up enough to fit. I think I tried that one on the International when I was doing it. So this guess is roughly the same size as that for some weird reason. So we got these all sorted out. I still got to make the door panels, but eh, I'll save that for another day. Uh, at least it's all closed up as right now. Um, I guess the next step is I'm going to try to see if I can fit my gauges into my dash. I thought of maybe getting digital gauges. I mean, as lame as that is, but like I say, my plan is I'm going to first see how they fit. And then I think what the idea is, I might tint this glass and then uh, put my gauges in behind. And then whenever you turn the key on, they all light up and then that's fine. When they're off, the dash just looks normalish. So this is a case where possibly 
if I had a uh, like a digital gauges readout in behind, that would have been fine. But me, we gotta we gotta work with what we got. And I do have some heater controls, so I'll be able to put those in. That's cool. Um, yeah, the only thing I'm missing, unfortunately, is I don't have the ashtray. So I don't know. Oh well. So, anyways, let's get started. Bring this to the bench, tear it apart, and uh, see how we're gonna make stuff fit. Well, unfortunately, I'm really torn which way I want to go with this. I was going to like black out this, like tint it or something, and then hide my gauges behind. But because they're all dimpled on this side, I just wouldn't tint well. Um, and then the second thing is I was going to put my gauges just behind. But then it'll start getting confusing because, you know, well, the temps aren't bad. But anything numbered will really screw a feller up if these set. I mean, it wouldn't really screw a guy up, but... An example, if you had this and you're trying to read the other numbers, you're having a quick glance at the wrong stuff always. So, I don't know. This is a whole lot of suck. <laughs> I don't want to carve the dash up. At the same time, I was like, I was hoping to keep it a classic looking car, but boo. I guess for now, I'm just going to make a panel. I don't know. Man, I don't really want to do that, but... I guess a feller's got to do what a feller's got to do, right? Yuck. <laughs> well, I guess in the end, a feller's got to do what a feller's got to do. I'm going to paint these bezels so they match all the other ones. But, boo. Then I'm not sure. I guess I could hide the radio. Well, not so much hide, but I could just mount it. Ew, I don't know if there's room in the dash. I wasn't going to sink it in like that, but maybe I can just put the radio in behind. Whatever the heck. Not what I want, but there's a lot not going the way I want here, so. Let's do it in the least way to destroy this thing. So that down the road, if some other feller ever ends up with this car, they can try to make it look more stockish. Guess that's my plan here. Bummer. Oh well. Let's start piecing her together. I guess I'm going to just make a filler panel and, I don't know, we'll kind of go from there.
gauge. Now all my gauges have a black bezel on it now. So, good enough. They sort of look all the same. <laughs> Set those aside. And back to figuring out what we're going to do. I think I'm just, as much as I don't want to, I'm just going to sink all these gauges in behind. And I'll make a new bezel for the inside of here. So, I guess uh, first things first, I'm going to have to build a panel. I think I can't sink it straight up without buggering up the panel. So they're all going to have to float behind a little bit. I'll have to figure out how I'm going to do that yet. I don't know. I don't know. But we'll figure it out. Not super pumped with the results, but it's gonna work. It's just not the way I wanted it to be. I'll maybe put the glass in there just to see what it would look like, but uh, I don't think the gauges don't go low enough that I could use these be original bezels, and I didn't uh, really mock anything up to match the factory stuff. So, but we'll see. Why not, eh? For the heck of it. Yeah, that's a big negative. Don't like that. I don't like it when that piece is in. So, I guess it's just going to stay blank. And I'll just smoke everything in. We'll paint her up and it's just going to be what it is. Oh well. 
At least we'll have gauges. <laughs> so I'm going to continue. I'm going to pull all these out. I am going to get all these holes lined up so I can bolt that panel in. I'm going to spurt some paint on it. And uh, pretty much it's just going to be what it is. Well, I do have to drill. I need to put in for my high beams and a signals. And I don't think I have any of that. I thought that Speedo for some reason had those in it. Either I got the wrong one or I didn't order the right thing. And I think I still have some. Maybe I don't. I used to have a bunch of those little LED lights like this. So I got two of those. That'll do for the signals. And I'll have to see if I got a blue one for the high beams. We'll see how that settles out. This is whether I like the brown or not. This is the same color but the glossy version of what I put on the dash. So, yeah, we'll see. Either I like it or I don't. I can always repaint it. Uh, seeing I'm not going to use any of this stuff then, I will put this on the shelf to save for another car if I ever need it. Uh, along with the original gauges and stuff there. Well, I'll do it after I get the gauges in anyways. Right, after a whole lot of fiddling around, here is where we are at. So, eh, I don't know. It's all right. I got my controls in. Don't got my cables on. I have everything wired up in the back. I have to get a high beam light yet, but other than that, I got this. Uh, I just got to wire in my ascenders, to which, of course, they always sort of fell or a screw. Uh, get my speedo, but basically I've uh, knocked it down to this is my dash lights and this is uh, dash power and then after that I have, I don't remember what this is, water temp, one of the two and uh, yeah, pretty much ready to stab all the extra junk in there and uh, get her, get her in the car. Wait till tomorrow and I'll probably clean I'm gonna clean this up a bit. I polish it a bit. By polishing, just wash it. <laughs> Still have to find a cigarette lighter or uh, ashtray. I'll have a lighter. The wipers we know work. I'll have to figure out a blower fan thing yet. And then yeah, my light switch will work there fine. Yeah, we're and the starter button's kind of junky I don't have, so I might just put a cigarette lighter in there because I have the other button on the side. Or I'll move, I know what I'll do, I'll probably put my horn button in there. 
Anywho, uh, I think that's all I'm going to do tonight. And uh, we'll keep plugging away at it tomorrow. Hopefully get it all in there. That was a whole lot of fiddling. I saved you the most of it because I goofed and I didn't have enough wire to do a bunch of stuff, so I had to do everything behind the dash. So those things happen. Ah, dang it. I have to keep changing my one wire here. I goof up with the, my, uh... This, this one. It's this one. <laughs> I have uh, my interior lights, but I have it stabbed into the wrong part of the fuse box. Anyways, <clears throat> so uh, I don't have my sending units hooked up yet. Well, I do have my fuel. So if we hit our key, we got our gauges. We got our lights. I am not 100% sure if that's right, my fuel. My volt clearly is, and my oil and temp are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but lights are in, horns in, I actually have my heater blower hooked up, I have my controls hooked up, well, I have this side hooked up, this one goes to this vent that I kind of boned when I put my battery in, so it, it looks the part, but it doesn't actually do anything. So, still missing this. Uh, mental note guys, uh, pull your carpets out before you start doing some drilling. It looks like I got a metallic spark, uh, sparkle show going on on the floor, but uh, yeah, it's just hard to vacuum out when you do that. <laughs> uh, I just had some crappy LEDs, so I put those under. I did rig up down here. This is for my seat warmers. So left, right. We got a high and a low. Oh, this one seems to think everything's high. Interesting. Anyways. We got those there. I know my wipers work, they're hooked up. I uh, had to do some new ducking, ducting. So I had, I don't even know what that is. I actually think it's like a vacuum hose or something like that. So I plumbed in new hose for all that. Uh, the dash is what it is. I don't know, it'll work. Got our garnish molding in. It sort of fits in there. The headliner's kind of buggered, but we're going to work with it for now. Uh, there's a gap in there, but that's only because we don't have the rubber on the inside because the glass is supposed to be on the inside, so... Eh, should be fine. If it bothers me, I was going to put a tape of foam in there, but I figure it might actually help with my defrost if I left it open. We got a rear view mirror in. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. I have... Uh, I haven't hooked it up yet, but this one's going to be like my message... Ooh, focus focus so that's my message indicator these ones are like my signals so down the bottom are my signals 
by high beam that's the wires hanging out because I've ordered a button but I don't have it so I can at least just wire it and just poke it in place so anyways that's what everything is so yeah good there high low beam switch we got our gas pedal I still gotta do a little bit of wire cleanup this is all the stuff for my heated seat so I just gotta tidy that up yet I'll have to build a glove box yet oops but hey progress it is progress we uh i think we have pretty much all the wiring bundled up i haven't hooked up the the dome light mostly because i can't get that cover off and i don't know how to get it off without breaking it so i just rigged up underneath the dash those leds they're i don't have them on both sides each door operates each one of them individually not a big deal it is what it is it's more than enough light so we're gonna go with that for now all my fiddling around I kind of killed my battery uh, got my divider in my mirror like I said yeah we're getting close 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 I did find this doodad but I have the upper part but it's broken I'm missing the emblem so there's a whole lot of suck going on there yet this is my trunk prop so I don't have a strut so that would go on like that and then yeah there's just a big mess of stuff missing like I said I had half the bezel up for top so I think the other car does have it so I may steal it I hate sealing off of there but I need it so I'll probably grab that off the other trunk I'm gonna tape that up because I don't have that and uh yeah i think that's where i'm gonna leave this one fun anywho we uh i guess next round is going to be doing a bunch of rust repair we need to do that and we're a little bit closer yeah I have some fenders, but they're not really that much better. Like for the effort to take them off, it's not worth it. They're just as banged up and stuff. So, and they even, I think, so have a bit of rust down there. So I don't know if that I'm winning. So I'll probably rebuild that, that. There's a little spot back there. I think there's some on the other side. So maybe we'll tackle that one next. And then, man, we are super close. Still got to do a rear trunk latch. I got to make some front marker lights and one bezel I'm missing that but yeah then a whole bunch of tidying up but we're almost there and then who knows what we're gonna work on next <laughs> I have a motor swap and a, an LS swap to go into a square body that a buddy wants done so I'll be doing that that'll be coming up and then uh, I don't know maybe work on some of my own junk for a while Again, actually. But anyways, as always, folks, thanks for watching. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Later.